Hi everybody, it's Robbie coming from my bird garden in Southern California and I'm tearing everything apart. Now they can move things, lift things, and that's what I'm doing. I'm moving a lot of stuff around here. You had so many questions on the last garden tour and I'm gonna to start with what I think is actually the simplest one. Isn't this so pretty here? And the birds are saying, go away. Let's walk over here and let me explain to you what I was talking about. And I wasn't talking about climate change, though I said, everything has changed here. This is what I want you to see. Do you see the breeze? You see the wind? I'm going to tell you for my area, for where I'm living, this wind that is blowing right now, you can see the trees, is constant. Birds soaring in the sky. But what I was trying to tell you, let's walk over here, because it's pretty here and let's get out of the sun. Because I am sporting a hat and glasses and trying to get things done and not get overheated before it gets too hot. So let me tell you what's going on. When I moved here back in the 80s, before Gary and I got married, I could put out in the yard, let me back up, anywhere. I could put an umbrella out. I had wind toys. Let's see if we can peek through. I could do all kinds of stuff and leave it out. No, you can't see here. I could put it out on deck. I had it for years. Beautiful umbrella set. I bought it really cheap. I actually had bought it from the grocery store for $35 after summer. Tables, chairs, the whole thing. I'm still using the chairs in my chair garden. And everything was fine and beautiful and quiet. So many people would call me from the San Fernando Valley and different places. Hey, isn't it windy up there or LA? Nope. Different parts of Orange County, San Diego. Isn't it windy? Nope. We don't have any wind. We had no breeze. It was still and the weather was beautiful and I can put all my wind toys out for quite a few years. I'm gonna have to say for close to 10 years. Now remember, I've been here now over 30 years. From the 10 year mark to now, so from the 80s to now, it's a drastic change. Things are drier, things are warmer, things are windy every single day. I can no longer put an umbrella out. If I put an umbrella out, it will leave completely picked up and gone and it happened when it started to change without me really knowing it what happened is it took off off the deck and ended up flying in the yard that was the end of having an umbrella the wind toys used to spin in the wind I had a duck and a boat that would go up and down it was so cute uh-uh they actually just were spinning to the point where they were going to spin apart the reason we're looking at the canyon is that is where the breeze is coming from that is where the heat is coming from. When I moved here in the 80s, the, this is not climate change, but this is man-made, 100% man-made, changing the weather and everything in this area, all because of what's going on down there. Like I said, when I moved here, in this town, I'm not going to give the town because it's not just my town, all your towns are changing. Everything where you see that's gray down there, that wasn't there. Most of it wasn't there. There were mountains, there were trees, there were even oil wells out there on some of the hilltops and the hills were covered with diff different grasshoppers going up and down and it was all planted and beautiful. You couldn't go in there, it wasn't a park but it was plants. There were orange grows, thousands of orange trees all through there. You would drive and see them no matter where you went. You would see fields. It could be in the middle of the city and all of a sudden there'd be acreages of oranges growing or some sort of citrus growing. All these hills were covered in avocado trees as you can see the dead one here, which eventually a lot of them have fizzled out. When I moved here, there were 32 avocado trees and I think we're down to about five. They're old. They're about 100 years old, so things happen. But that's not what changed it up here. What changed it up there, there are people. They took all the plants out. They changed the simple city of little, little standalone shops. Like they had a beautiful shopping center in there. It wasn't your average mall. It was like the old farmer's market where I grew up in LA, where it was all planted with trees and plants and flowers and they had walkways and you go from one bungalow to another bungalow to shop. 
looked like an old farmer's market that I grew up in Los Angeles, which is now the Grove. They said, no, we're knocking it down. It's coming down to build a great big mall. And that's what they did. Not only did they build there, they built cross street. Then they took another one down. And before you knew it, the whole city back there is now all shopping centers. And what do these shopping centers bring? Not only the rooftops that are solid, flat, hot, but they bring in also parking lots. And the parking lots, have you ever stood on, in the parking lot when it's 80 degree, degrees, you'll feel the heat rising as I talk about walls. Well, you'll see walls around here. We have the wall there that creates heat. Can you imagine changing the whole city and as it changed, it got windier and windier and the heat comes up. The heat rises and it pushes. Even in the winter, it blows because the sun, when it comes out here in Southern California, beats on that and then it rises up and then it comes through. So now we have like a wind tunnel of heat in the summer coming through here because the entire place now, there's no more orange groves, is now shopping centers or big apartment condo buildings with flat tops now if they would have had a green roof it would have been beautiful that would have helped but with the shopping centers coming in and all the parking lots coming in for tens of thousands of cars because you have everybody coming in walmart target big grocery stores all that as they built their parking lots and their buildings it changed and all that that you see here that's flat was not there and you can see the mountains there's still some trees down there well the whole city was like that and you had your little shopping centers and all the trees that are through here was kind of like in the city there and it just held the temperature perfect the trees are what really helps the temperature so when i say that we went through a big change we have i miss the old days i can't put out my wind toys anymore I cannot put out an umbrella unless we open it and then as soon as it blows, it comes down. That's why we had to change some of it to gazebos and even those have gone over and when it gets really windy, then we have to undo the top. So that's what I'm saying. Not climate change, but change due to man. I know Gary was telling me in Australia, they have a big move right now to take open fields and areas and plant tons of plants. Because of that, it will drop the temperature couple degrees and it will stop all this heat and wind blowing through the air it's probably what kills a lot of trees around here because you got the constant heat coming up and then in the winter you have the wind coming up that's cold so it may be 40 degrees but we could get a wind chill factor of let's say in the 30s and papayas that took out my papayas remember i had a ton of papayas down past the bird garden down there well the wind came up through the canyon in the winter just blew straight through and took out all those papayas. It was just too cold. So yes, I have seen the change big time and not for the good. That's not even good for the environment. Talk about hummingbirds and other birds and animals not having a place to live. That's what pushed all the coyotes up here and other animals and a lot of animals disappeared. We had a lot more when I moved here. I could give you a list. It was amazing the animals we had here. We had foxes, we had, we had badgers, we had rosy boas, different types of snakes, king snakes, they're all gone. We do have coyotes because they dominate everything. We have the occasional skunks, but most of those are taken out by coyotes. We had road runners all over here. Those have been taken out also by coyotes because the coyotes eat the eggs because they nest them most of the time on the ground. So anyways, that's when I said I mentioned that the climate has changed. It has big time. Not anything I can do about it because you can't change progress. And that is the issue. So now we've got all the big shopping centers that have come in, leveled the mountains. There was one that was just beautiful mountains. They just leveled them and built a giant, big shopping center there. And let me tell you something, go there on a hot day and you walk through the parking lot slowly and it's hot. All that heat rises and it blows right towards all of us, not counting all the other canyons. There's another canyon on the other side. The whole area just going right on up and who knows how far up it goes. So that's what's been going on. So a lot of you asked, tell me what, what it was and that's what it is. If you're in the path of change, you're going to feel it. 
Some of you may like it. I wish it was before. Actually, I really enjoyed going shopping when they had little bungalows and you could go and take a path and walk along the beautiful plants and go from one building to the next. But I guess those days are gone because it doesn't bring in a lot of people to shop. It doesn't bring in a lot of money and they want bigger shopping centers. So what can you do? So you can just sit back, take the wind toys in, forget the umbrellas and just think about doing it a different way. And that's what we're doing. So I hope you have a great day. And that's what I wanted to talk about, why our climate has changed here big time. And it really has. So there's a lot of things I cannot grow. Papayas won't grow in the path of this. So I'm gonna to have to find a different area. And like I said, it's taken out a lot of the avocado trees, though they've been old. There were other trees you see periodically that die out due to the cold wind or the hot wind. All we can do is adapt ourselves and bring in plants that can adapt to the change. And when you bring in plants around you, even just a few, it's good for our health because it creates oxygen and it brings in more wildlife, pollinators, and birds. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Though I do miss the old weather. I really liked having an umbrella out but I can't have it taking off and going into a neighbor's yard or all the way down the canyon. Can I? <laughs>